Always there, right by me, never leaving me. Come on, boo boo, let's hop up. Let's get up. Let's go get you a drink. Come on. guys the diabetes blood sugar checker with the way I've been feeling lately I want to make sure that my blood sugars are not an issue because of the lack of food intake I want to I've been having such violent mood swings and such horrible exhaustion and then energy and then exhaustion and then energy that I'm really worried about what's going on internally now because I am struggling I'm struggling really bad yesterday I have a Ammon is um, almost 12 years old and uh, this is the age that terrifies me like this is the age where Autoimmune diseases hit children. For me, I was hitting 12 years old when my thyroid was being attacked and when I was so desperately ill, when two years later I was diagnosed with lupus. So with Mason, it was a month before his 12th birthday that he was diagnosed with diabetes. We are about two months before Ammon's 12th birthday. I'm terrified. I went to the endocrinologist and I was talking to him about my thyroid and autoimmune diseases and all of those things. And when he found out my oldest was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes at um, almost 12 years old, he said, oh, and he started nodding. And I said, yeah, I know what that means. It means that I have given my children a 80% chance of getting an autoimmune disease. I'm okay, baby. This is my best friend. I promise I'm okay. I promise. It's okay. I love you. Thank you. Go get your bone. Hold on. Okay, so yeah, I am terrified. I am terrified that I gave my children autoimmune diseases because the reality is I did. Um, I knew once I had autistic children 
that our genetic makeup, when all four kids ended up being diagnosed with sensory processing disorder and autism and Tourette's and ADHD and all of these other mental illnesses, it's okay, it's just blue, that my children were going to have issues later in life. And I have had this ongoing fear pretty much their entire life about it because I know what my life is like with an autoimmune disease. I'm okay. And how hard it's been. But I have, I'm trying so hard to remind myself how much I have learned. I guess my fear is that I don't want my kids to lose out on their childhood like I did. Ammon for the past six months has been really struggling with feeling super dizzy and having low blood sugars and I'm starting to really worry about him and I'm worrying about Bella because she's showing all kinds of stomach issues and digestion issues like me and she's already had her death scare. I mean, how weird is it that I expect to have a death scare with each of my children? You're going to have to go outside if you don't let me film. Can you go sit down? Yeah, so if you don't know and you're new and you feel like going to our website, which is hurricanejeffries.com, um, I have on there some of the videos. I haven't updated it in a while because I've been focused on trying to get to the point where I can actually take my boards for my EMT class. And all of the EMTs that are working with Brandon keep telling him she's got to stop waiting and just take them because I'm going to forget everything. And I agree. I need to take them. My goal was to take them right after I took my finals. But when I failed my finals by one point, it really threw a wrench into everything because I got so scared to take my boards. <laughs> Cause it's so expensive and it's so hard and it's so intense that like I freaked myself out and now I haven't done it. So I have graduated. I have my EMT certificate. I do not have my license. Um, so yeah, once my kids go back to school on August 14th, I'm going to start working on diving back into that and getting my boards before we leave in October. So that's a side note back to what I was talking about. I am struggling. I am struggling with depression so bad. Like my whole family went to this huge party today where there's bouncy houses and, and water slides and grandma does this huge party for all of the cousins, Brandon's mom and dad. And it is one party every year where everybody gets together and it is just a full blown themed, amazing wonderland. Um, this year is Harry Potter. All of the kids will get amazing Harry Potter stuff and have a whole day full of Harry Potter amazement because of my mother-in-law. And she's amazing. And I have, for three days, been trying to build myself up to go to this party. And it's family. My birthday's tomorrow. I don't want to feel like this. I wanted to go today and celebrate and have fun. But this is how I feel. And I cannot control it. <sighs> so what's my point? My point is, depression is hard. <sighs> depression is uncontrollable. In my situation, I'm trying to do everything I can, I really am. But mine is caused by my freaking thyroid. <sighs> It's all medications going, hormones and, and mood swings and, and everything. And this is how I feel. And I don't like being this person. <laughs> and there's nothing I can do about it. I feel like I think of every bad thing that's going to happen. And every horrible situation that my kids are going to find themselves in. And I start spiraling out of control. <sighs> so I breathe. and I come here and I talk to myself and I try to figure out what's bothering me right now. And right now what's bothering me is the sickness that I see in my children that I can't figure out. 
Ammon is struggling. Ammon is feeling dizzy and getting pale and, and not eating enough and, and going to the bathroom all the time and, and, and having major issues. I know there's something going on. I'm not over exaggerating. I have been watching for six months and I've seen something progressing and I can't figure out what it is. I know more than like it's going to be an autoimmune disease, whether it's thyroid or, or type 1 diabetes or, or, or something else. Something's going on with this kid and I can't figure it out. And it's highly stressful. And I know it's going to be... I don't know it's going to be huge. I'm trying to convince myself that I'm over-exaggerating. But I know reality and I know numbers. Oh, and I know that Bella almost died from her appendix exploding and then a bowel rupture and those are all autoimmune and can be and I'm fearful. I'm full of fear. I'm a person that has to rely on hope and future and tomorrow and right now I can't see past five minutes. So my family went to the party and I stayed home. My husband's not happy about it. But I know what I needed today was to be alone. To work through these things. <sighs> yeah, so. Welcome to thyroid imbalance, people. And I bet you didn't know it could affect you like this. <sighs> I'm not giving up. I'm not. I want the blah gone. I want the lack of hope gone. I want the fear gone. I want to feel the spirit again. I want to see a future again. I want to see hope through sickness. But today that's just too hard. So I'm here alone. So I wanted to share one medical thing. Um, I know this video is really long, but I know that this is probably because of my medication and hormones trying to reset and imbalance because my period was supposed to start in like two weeks and it was a week early after two weeks being on um, my medication. My hormones all went chunk, and even my period was a full two weeks early and that these are all emotions from that. I mean, my body trying to reset. So medically, that's what's really going on. And I know that, but it doesn't counteract the sadness.